Ninja Loke has a recorded webinar that they'd like you to look at. Listen guys, this is great because they're talking about products and scenarios that you just don't run across every day, but you might, and now you'll have the solutions. Remember, we're talking about loans that you're not funding right now. Expand the loans that you're doing. Numbers are going to fall this year. Are you gonna pick up a bigger piece of the pie? Angel Oak, click this banner right over there, or on Facebook, right up above. Now, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association, the percentage of maturing commercial and multifamily housing mortgages dropped 42%. Or to put it in a less understandable way, 102.2 billion of the $1.8 trillion of outstanding commercial and multifamily mortgages held by non-bank lenders and investors will mature in 2018. A 42% decrease from the 175.9 billion that matured in 2017. So that's happening right now. So why is that, Frank? Well, I, you know, the commercial production is simple. You know, the next time you order a pair of shoes on Amazon and it comes to you in a refrigerator sized box and oh, the shoes don't fit, so you have to send them back only to get another refrigerator box delivered to your house two weeks later and you did this because it's more convenient and you saved $2.37. That's why commercial mortgages maturing is dry. You're very fresh. No ma'am, that's impossible. Because for the last hour, I've been trying to squeeze your foot into a shoe when I really should have been easing them into the box. <laughs> well, Frank, you're entirely wrong, but here's the idea. What if you only had to pay like, I don't know, maybe 5% or less more, but you could actually go down to a place that was really close to your house. Okay. And you could actually try on those shoes first. Mm -hmm. And if they fit, you could take them home with you that day. Mm. Boy, when somebody comes up with that idea for a business model, I'm in because I'm sick of stomping on cardboard and having my recycling bin filled past capacity every single week. You know what? Hmm. I bet Amazon comes up with this idea, Frank, but uh -huh. who knows? Yeah, well, that's that's great thinking. That's yeah. great thinking, but I still, know. it's not the reason. Whoa. However, it could be the reason for this trend to continue. Oh. It's downward spiral. Okay, okay. The reason is most commercial and multifamily homes mature in 10 years. Okay. So in 2008, year of mortgage reckoning, nobody was building, or better put, 42% less than 2007. Oh, 10 years ago, you gotcha. Yeah, so now, 10 years ahead, those notes matured, and we're actually seeing the drop off from those 10 year notes. Okay. So, this is a reflection on the difference between 2007 and 2008. However, today. we are seeing these type of trends taking place yeah. today, meaning Same less thing. construction. Right. 10 years from now, God willing, we'll see the same type of drop-offs, yet this time around, the overall volume, less inflation, may be more severe. So what you're saying is, these are loans from 10 years ago, they're maturing now, so we're realizing the drop-off now, but we're having a similar type of drop-off that's going to affect us maybe worse 10 years down the road. From now, exactly. Gotcha. Oh, hey, by the way, all of you guys, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, my favorite day of the year. Yeah, and by the way, if you're a typical salespeople, like me and Frank are, you may need to get something for that special somebody today, right? Because you forgot. Well, here's a few ideas. A diamond ring from Tiffany. A new Porsche Cayenne to haul those little kitties around. A week at the Ritz-Carlton in Kapalua, Hawaii. Remember, dumbasses, you forgot, and yes, I'm talking to only the guys right now. Because every guy knows Valentine's Day, haha, <laughs> it's her holiday, not yours. And if you don't go big, she's going to know that you forgot. Oh. If you think flowers from the gas station kiosk type of thing out front is a good idea, no. Or that crappy little box of chocolates from your grocery store is going to cut it, uh-uh. You're in for a big surprise. So if you don't go big, again, you salespeople out there with all the moolah, you may want to try a gift certificate to a divorce attorney, a used single wide trailer for you, a limo takes to Chippendales and a Costco case of Grey Goose to ensure great decision making by your loved one and her girlfriend. Guys, we suggest going big on this one. This is the person that you love and it's her holiday. Remember, you have your holiday too, one month after Valentine's Day on March 14th. And if you don't know what that is, Google March 14th. But word of caution here, it's an NSFO search. Now, if you don't know what that means, you're going to find out after you click on one of the results. Now, we're all adults here. We're just having a little fun, it's right? Just fun. Right. Take it easy. We'll either get 10,000 new viewers with the last story or we'll lose 10,000 tomorrow. You know, we'll never know. We'll find out. Remember, again, 
just having a little fun. And by the way, Frank, those gas station flowers that you like so much, yeah, they're not nice. Yeah. And by the way, speaking about having fun, did you hear about the real estate investor convict who actually put liens on people's houses for not paying his fake homeowners association dues. Now, you gotta admit, sometimes fraud is pretty damn funny when it's oh not you. Oh my goodness. A community in Kansas City started receiving bills from a homeowners association called Columns Park. Uh -huh. They were fake, <laughs> being sent by a retired school teacher and real estate investor and convicted real estate <laughs> investor fraudster of $3 million, <laughs> Al Roberts. I love Al. The community was quick and keen to the bills they received from a federal prison, but they were surprised when Al upped his game and filed liens against these homeowners for not paying his fake homeowners association dues. That is so awesome. And Al, I gotta say this to you, brother. There's no way you were gonna get caught in this, right? It's just <laughs> awesome. Now, as you can expect, these liens have been dismissed. But if ever there was a, why do I have to deal with this type of scenario? It's this one for the homeowners and their hired attorneys, of course, Goodness. who had to go through this big mess. It really begs the question, shouldn't there be a law in place from keeping convicted and incarcerated criminals from doing this type of stuff in the first place? You know, by like reading their mail before it's sent? <laughs> Just bringing a Just little on. Just <laughs> I thought they did that. I bet in some prisons they do, but oh, that is so awesome! <laughs> that is so awesome. It's like there is no scenario, man, where this works. He's like, I'm doing 30 years. What the hell do I care? He's just gonna make things miserable for everybody else, and he can do it. I'm gonna file some lawsuits. I'm gonna get some liens going. I'm gonna lien some homes. <laughs> Take pay my homeowners dues. This, 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 <laughs> this took. This takes a lot of thought. Awesome stuff. You guys, do us a favor. Leave us your comments down below. Don't forget, man. We got Feedback Friday coming up. We pick your Ooh. comments. Always we got some good. good ones too. Yeah, so uh, do us a favor, forward and share and subscribe for free. We'll catch you later here at the Natural Estate. Post it on your social sites and tag your friends. It really helps us, guys. Have a fabulous. We day. notice. See you later.